Need some perspective on all of this? So bring in market watcher Ryan Payne, Payne Capital Management kind of guy. You are usually optimistic about the markets and the, and the economy going forward. Does this give you, you know, pause for thought? Do you think it's time to sell a little now? Absolutely not, Stuart. No? Not no. at all? I'm offended you even brought that up. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, look, I can make yeah. the case. Look, sure. if this is going to be a long, drawn-out trade fight with China, the world's second largest economy. That's right. And we've got a race to the bottom on interest rates and threats of deflation. I think that's not a very good environment in which to be buying stocks, is it? Well, I mean, let's let's look at this, right? Nothing's really, really changed that much, right? Okay, we have some additional tariffs that might, you know, be added, and now we're up to like 138, I think, billion dollars all said with tariffs. But you also remember our economy is like 20 trillion dollars. We're not talking about big dollar amounts in the scheme of things. Understood. Furthermore, you know, a lot of the tariff news really covered up like the really good news that we saw on Friday. You know, we saw jobless or the job numbers came in better than or right on, on track, right? 164,000 jobs created. We had wages go up again. You know, we're still 50 years on, unemplo- on, on the unemployment number. So, I mean, all things equal right now. I mean, it's pretty much nothing's really changed since last week. OK, well, would you, would you okay. buy? I, I, I don't mean to interrupt you, but look, yeah. there, was, to so, someone like you, this could be a real buying opportunity. A bargain basement prices on some of the biggest names. You know, you steal my thunder. Yes, no, exactly <laughs> right. I mean, if you look at it, the only real buying opportunity we had this year was April into June. We had a nice sell-off. We've had, you know, pretty much an uninterrupted bull market this year. For anyone sitting with cash, we know there's like $8 trillion in cash. We've talked about that. You're kind of getting a gift from the gods here to put some cash to work. Would you do it? I Absolutely. Mean, you would advise your clients today, not tomorrow, today, right now, get and buy some stock. Would you do that? Absolutely, because you just don't get these many opportunities to buy. The market doesn't sell up that often. And right now, this trade war has going on for a long time. You know, we haven't had many dips. It takes a strong stomach, doesn't it? I mean, if you're watching this program and you see all red arrows all over the place and Ryan Payne says, yes, absolutely, it's a buying opportunity. Get out there and buy. I mean, when you, go to, when you go to the, the market and you see something on sale, do you, do you walk away or do you buy? It's the same thing with the stock market. You've got to take advantage of lower prices. You don't get them that often. So. Okay. Talk to me about flights to safety because yes. it looks like we've got this flight to gold. Six-year high in the price there. Looks like we've got something of a flight to safety with Bitcoin as well. What do you make of this? Um, I think you know, gold, yes, is a very viable uh, flight to safety. Right now, you've got $14 trillion worth of neg- negative securities around the world. You know, governments have to park their money somewhere. Central banks are buying more gold than they have in like 50 years. If you look at it over the last year, Russia bought more gold this year than they have in a long time. So that's definitely pushing the price of gold up. Now, I would warn you, gold is still a very lousy long-term investment. It's very volatile. It doesn't grow as much as even bonds grow over time, and it pays no dividend. I wouldn't say it's the best place for your money. Understood. But uh, okay. an unruffled Ryan Payne is with us this morning. <laughs> That's accurate, isn't it? You're not ruffled by all of this. Even on a Monday morning. I mean, Stuart, come on. It's just uh, I always come in hot. Well, I try to at least. Come in hot? <laughs> Whatever you say, son. Whatever you say. But Ryan, thank you very much. Good Thanks, Stuart. Good stuff.